All right, that time is 7.54. We have a dusting of snow on the ground. The wind is howling. We are just now leaving the Siler Bald Shelter. Welcome to day 23. How'd you sleep last night? Good. It was it was warm with the fire that Snuggles made last night. Yeah, it was nice. The wind was, made the tarp flap all night long. That was kind of annoying. Yeah. But we're up and ready. We're rolling. Let's go. That's Klingwind's dome. Tall one. <laughs> hey Santa! <laughs> what do you make of this? It's a tough slog. A lot of uphill and it's cold, but this is a beautiful grove of conifers. It's the first one we've come across. So we just had a nice stop here at um, Double Spring Shelter and uh, got our hot coffee on board and our, our Belvita cookies on board. And now we're setting out. Hopefully we can get 10 miles and maybe get somebody to pick us up at Newfound Gap because it's going to be bitterly, bitterly cold tonight. And we would, um, this is the kind of night we'd rather be in. And we don't care if we go to Gatlinburg or Cherokee, we would just rather be in tonight. We're uh, two miles from Klingman's Dome right now, which means we're at about mile marker 198. Not sure where we're going to spend the night tonight. All right, this is two milestones in one. The first one is we have reached 200 miles on our journey north on the Appalachian Trail. And we're just astride Klingman's Dome, which means we're at the highest point on the Appalachian Trail at 6,600 feet. All downhill from here? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thousands of pointless up and downs <laughs> from here. All right, we carry on. So, um, as you can see, we are not on the mountain anymore. We pushed really, really hard this afternoon um, and uh, in conditions that were pretty hazardous. And I, I have to thank um, my sister who gave us uh, snow tracks. We brought them along just in case and today we put them on and um, it gave us a lot of margin of safety and helped us really get down up and down the hills fast. So we made it to Newfound Gap. Conditions today were, were pretty daunting. It was 20 to 23 degrees most of the day. Um, winds were, were gusty and it was extremely cold. Our gear kept us warm enough when we were moving and so having the ability to move across uh, frozen sheets of ice basically coming down off of Klingman's Dome um, kept us warm and kept us moving. We made it to Newfound Gap, found a group of people there that were trying to get off the mountain. The park service had already closed uh, the access roads. Uh, we found a, a true trail angel, Alex, uh, who was just coming out for the day to hike to the top of Klingman's Dome. Uh, and he got us down the mountain safely, and we deeply appreciate it. And now we're safely ensconced in a nice, warm, dry hotel room. Uh, we think we're going to wait here tomorrow because uh, we don't think conditions are going to get much better until the day after tomorrow. So we're probably, we're, we're taking another zero. We're taking a safety zero. <laughs> another safety zero. <laughs> but this one's not in a shelter at the top of Sassafras Gap. Right. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, so at one point this afternoon, we had three alternatives. The alternatives were, we could either, maybe if we were lucky, get off the mountain, which is what happened. Number two was work our way to the next shelter, which was I think four miles beyond. And, and we probably could have done that, but we would have been um, out of out of doors in conditions that were um, pretty pretty rough. And the third alternative was to spend the night in a bathroom at Newfound Gap. We hit the jackpot. <laughs> We're safely in a hotel for tonight. Um, we hope all of our brothers and sisters out on the mountain are safe tonight. Um, we're with you in spirit. 